Hey friends, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my studio. I'm going to paint another wood panel because I've sold three of them now. They go in the entryway at the Artist Cooperative Gallery in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. It's a 16 by 16 inch uh, piece of plywood that the gallery provides, which is so cool. So this is the sanded side and I sanded it some more. You can kind of see how thick it is. And I put um, two coats of clear gesso on it. That's the back. I'm going to paint another cow because now I've got a thing going. So I'm going to paint Trouble 5.0. I'll link the reference photo in this video description. Isn't that cute? I think that's a Charolais, Charolais cow. It's a French breed. If you guys know how to say it, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to write the word love on it because it's just, I, I do that with all my paintings. It's a great way to start. I just broke it. I was pushing too hard. I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of an orange color. Get it close. <laughs> that just, it just makes me happy. And then I'm going to paint a combination of, let's see, what is that one? Oh, yellow oxide. So here's yellow oxide. That is the darker yellow. Cad yellow, medium, and titanium white. Pretty much three equal parts. I buy the cad yellow in the basics um, because I go through quite a bit of yellow. I don't know why I shake it. I do that all the time. And then I buy a titanium white in the in a jar because I go through quite a bit of that. Okay, I'm going to mix this up and let's have some fun. Hey friends, it's the next day and my board is dry, my yellow background is dry. I use this two inch brush from Blick Art Materials. I like these a lot. They're inexpensive. I think it came in a three or four pack with different sizes. <clears throat> Excuse me, here's another size. That's a one inch. I really like them. They seem to take a beating and keep on going. I'm gonna use my new palette. So it's a reusable palette. Uh, I got it for Mother's Day. Isn't that fun? I love it. It has a lid. You guys maybe have seen these. Favorite son and favorite daughter got it for me. And then there's a sponge that you can wet and set in there somewhere to help keep it moist. And so I have out on my palette titanium white right there. So these, these three are bigger um, spots to hold paint. So I would think you'd want to put your white because you go through a lot of white in one of the big spots. Um, I tend to go through more yellow because it's not as heavily pigmented. It's not as strong of a color. So I put yellow next to it. Cad yellow medium hue. And then we've got quinacridone magenta. So I'm pretty much using, oh, excuse me. I'm pretty much using primaries. Quinacridone magenta. And then I've been using this blue a lot and I had it out on my art table. So I'm using phthalo blue green shade. Can you see that? That's right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm looking for my palette knife. So I've got a little blue and I want to mute it down so I could put some black out um, or I could grab a little bit. So basically I want orange and the, the magenta is quite strong. So I'm going to put a little bit of magenta in there. And then I'm going to grab a decent scoop of the yellow. And then I'm going to add white to it for my sky. Let's see what that does here while I'm, while I'm with you. Oh, so I'm not used to, this palette is so smooth. <laughs> I use styrofoam plates because I can stick them in a gallon baggie. Um, I don't dislike that. It's just different. It's really smooth. Oop, and I'm kind of, maybe I should have skipped a, so I'm going to learn how to use this palette. Maybe I should, it look, and it's looking kind of green, which I don't think I want. 
Well, maybe it isn't. I'm gonna wipe it on a paper towel and see what I've got here. Or actually, I could just put some white in it too. I think I got, I think I got teal. I did. I'm gonna add a little more magenta to it. I may end up just like getting rid of it. You know, I might have just made too big of a mess. Because it went green on me. And it would, you know what? It probably just been easier to add a pinch of black to it. <laughs> Sometimes, you, yeah, I'm getting greenish. I'm going to wipe that out and start over. I'll be back. Okay, let's try this again. So I put out some Mars black. It's right here in the corner. So I had too much yellow. So, and then that's a, it's a phthalo blue green shade. So it's already has more yellow in it. Um, I was just, the quinacridone so strong that I was afraid of it. I'm just gonna grab a little. Prussian blue could be a good blue you might like. It's already a muted blue. Boy, I can totally tell I'm not used to mixing in this. I'm so used to those styrofoam plates. It's not a bad thing, I just need a little, a little practice. Let's stick some white in here. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing along with me. I'm having the hardest time. Maybe if I hold my hand a little closer, it's like coming out the side. Maybe I should be mixing in here. And these are just wells for the paint. But I kind of want to mix up quite, oh, it's squeaking. I kind of want to mix up quite a bit. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. That's looking like a muted blue um, because I have quite a bit of sky. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show that um, in real time. I'll be back in a bit. So I've got my sky in. I used a one inch, you could use any brush you want. I happen to use this one because I had it handy. I could have used, oh, I think I've got a one inch craft angle brush sitting in here. Just whatever, um, bigger is quicker. And I'm, I'm looking for simple. I've done that this sky quite a few times if you guys have been following me. I like it, I really like to push the sky and the grass back so the cow really comes forward. Um, so things that I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna put out some burnt umber and then I'm thinking unbleached titanium. You can make this with a little bit of white. The color numbers are right on there. You can also look at Liquitex and see how they did it. But you could use a lot of un uh, titanium white, a pinch of burnt umber and maybe a little yellow and get something really close. Um, and the other thing I'm thinking, here's my photo. So here's a lighter version of my photo. I'm probably gonna make the nose a little pinker because I think it looks cute. But so if I paint my highlights on bleached titanium, I can come back with white and even have maybe some stronger highlights. So I think I'm gonna stay away from white for a while. Here's the, the unedited, well actually it's a little bit edited down here because I brought the clouds down, but here's a closer version of the photographer's photo. Isn't that fun? So I'm not totally sure. Oh, uh, raw sienna could be a really good color. It's kind of rusty pink in here. A little raw sienna, a little pink. 
So the values, when you're like, oh, what color do I use? Or you get worried if I just scared you guys, is um, the values are more important than the actual color. So, you know, my sky gets lighter. My grass gets, for the most part, lighter. There is a darker streak right here, but I don't know that I mind that. That could just be a change in the landscape. You know, it doesn't have to be literal. But in general, it goes from darker to lighter, closer to further. Okay, guys, I just thought I'd pop in and let you know what colors I'm going to use. Um, we're going to paint part of this live, too, here in a bit. But I think I might get in the eyes and the nose because I think those are going to be... Those are always the most important to me, and I think on this one it's going to be really important. Because it can be harder to paint a white animal. But if you look at it, I don't know if you can see it. But really, I don't know that there's any white in there. You can maybe argue some white right here where the sun's blowing out the photo. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I wanted to pop in. We're gonna start the live from this point. Um, if you don't wanna, I'll link the live in this video description. If you don't wanna go watch it in real time, I'll download it and time lapse it, fast forward it. And so that'll be this next section that is fast forwarded, will be the live. And then I'll pop back in after the live to let you know when that was over. I also thought I would just kind of comment that what am i doing here well it doesn't look so great right now it's it's i'm just finding some color some shadows you know i, I don't want to lose my structure i haven't done that ear yet i was just starting that ear and i'm thinking so my sun is coming from here so warmer co colors here cooler colors over here and i'm just kind of playing with color this is kind of greenish uh, that's, I don't know if that's a bluish gray or just a straight up gray. Anyway, that's all I'm thinking right now. It's just kind of finding landmarks. The eyes aren't done. I just have a little bit of color in there. Just kind of finding all the edges and, and reminding myself where I want warm and cool colors and, and putting some values down and, and then seeing how I like them. It's too soon to see how I like them right now. I need to get more paint on. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Hey, friends, that last little bit was alive. We made quite a bit of progress. I painted kind of a bluish greenish for the shadow area of the cow. This is darker than the reference photo. Uh, I'm just kind of getting cool colors and shadow, warm colors in the sunlight is one of the things I'm thinking. And I mentioned I was thinking shapes. Um, the other thing that's happening is my paint um, didn't keep very well in here. And then of course it's dry and I have fans running. So my paint is really drying out. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna touch up the sides here tonight. Uh, we just got done with the live and paint where the color goes around here. Just kind of make it nice and neat where the color goes around the sides. And I'm gonna let this dry out cause it just isn't keeping it very well. But I think what it is, is if I had sp spray it, which I did, and then I have a wet sponge, which I like that. Um, I don't, I think it needs a piece of saran wrap because I don't think the seal is very tight. Cause I was really surprised it'd only been three or four days. And when I keep it in a, on the two styrofoam plates in a gallon baggie, yeah, see, I can see there's some give. I don't think the seal's very tight. So you can find a way, or if I could slide this into a, I might have a two gallon baggie that this might fit into. That might work. Um, so that was a little frustrating, but also, I mean, you don't know until you try things, but I've got my paints sitting over here. I know what colors I use. I can mix them again. And they, they don't have to be exact. I mean, I'm using all the same color, family, values. So we're good. It's not like we're, everything's lost and we don't know what to do. Okay, I just wanted to pop in and mention that that last little bit was the live, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I thought I'd pop in here because I started a new palette a little bit ago. So Burnt Umber, or actually Burnt Umber, right here, Quinacridone Magenta, and that color's about 50-50, maybe a little more, probably maybe more magenta. So I have kind of a pinky brown, and that's, I was using some of that to paint the nose. I pulled out some magenta, pulled over some yellow, I've got a drip going and put in some unbleached titanium to make a warm pink. That's actually has a little more yellow. That's also part of the nose. Um, Cad yellow medium, thalo blue green shade, unbleached titanium white, titanium white, and black. I've just been working on the nose. This is kind of a greenish color under here. Um, I might like it. I gotta wait until I get more like, I, this is bugging me now. I painted it dark on purpose so I can come back with lighter layers and kind of hints of hair. Um, but right now, this is bugging me. But I'm just, just building, kind of working around the cow, getting shapes in. It's starting to kind of come together. When I looked at, look at it in my phone, it's looking pretty good. I think I like, I like the pinkier nose. I could have leaned more towards uh, the orange and the brown like in the reference photo, you can do, of course, if you're painting this, oh, sorry about the glare, you can do what you like. There we go, that's pretty good. And I might, you know, I, you can always come back and glaze too after you get a lot of it done and, and you're stepping back and look at it, I might glaze this with some orange, we'll see. I'm just getting sort of the first round of 
paint down for the cow. Okay guys, I'll be back after a bit. Hey friends, let's stop a second and talk about what I'm doing. So I've got a lot of little, oh, brush strokes. What I'm doing is I'm finding like, like there's a ridge or a, here, let me grab the reference photo. There's like little um, dark squiggly lines where it goes into shadow, the light isn't hitting it. I, I assume it's the way the hair grows. I don't think there's like a little teeny dent in the cow's skull. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Um, so I find those and sometimes I paint over them, sometimes I put them back in. Um, the nose is in pretty good shape, but really the nose could be darker. So you barely can see where that lip is and where the little chin dip is. Here, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm getting glare. And you can see it better on mine, but I kind of like that. I like seeing those wrinkles there. Um, I could go darker. Really, I could go darker in contrast in a lot of areas. Maybe a little lighter there. But so I'm kind of finding values um, and saying the sun, oh, where's my little sun? My sun's coming from up here. Oh, it was sitting right here. I'll have to look for it. it. Must be on the. Oh, I see it. It's on the floor. Let's see if I can grab. Oh, it has tape on it, so I can grab it with my sock. My sun's coming. Um, probably from up here, maybe. Because I'm catching all but maybe part of that. Yeah, you can t here. You can tell here. My sun's coming from like that direction. There's a nice line right there. That's also from part of the head too. What else? So. What I'm going to do now is go back and probably refine the eye because right now it's kind of glowing. And in this photo, come on, it's really dark. I'll probably leave a little more detail in the eye because um, right now I've got a ton of contrast that needs to go away. And that'll help. That'll help. And the other thing too is I'll paint out probably some of these little details I have. Decide which ones I want. Um, you could kind of call this done if you wanted to keep it real loose and you know one layer I tend to like to put on more layers because I think the depth is neat um, and I'm gonna put with this series this is trouble 5.0 I'm gonna put the hints of little flowers in the background because we're looking at a different angle so they'll be teeny and then I'm gonna put a flower in the mouth too so I just I kind of like that getting a ton of depth even though it's just a cow portrait if that makes sense if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. Oh, one thing I am kind of, so you don't have to be exact, like with this wiggle. I don't know if you can see mine's not quite the same. I get glare. Oh, and it's got a little something in the mouth you can see. Um, but you know, get it really, get it close. And it's kind of a neat feature. And then what I was gonna say is, you're turning your corner from sunlight and warm to cool pretty quick right here. So I put in some blues, kind of greens, some browns. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna leave that all blue. It's, I don't, I really disliked it when I first put it on, but I don't dislike it as much now as I did in the beginning. It's kind of fun. Okay, so next is sort of like layer two. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start on the eye and the ear and the horn. 
Um, the nose is in pretty good shape, but I think it's going to need some more work and just develop everything a little more. Develop some things more and then smooth out and I can tell how the, the, the hair is growing. So then I can take bigger brush strokes and I'm definitely going to come over some of these. You know, I can, I've got the shapes where kind of the jawline is. It's a little harder to see here, but there's like almost a little, I need to maybe put that back in. It's lighter right there. And just play with it, really. Follow, look at my reference photo for inspiration and structure and then play with the colors. Okay, guys, I'll be back after a bit. Okay, just a couple thoughts. So I like, actually I added some kind of, sorry, I'm hesitating. It's slightly pink brown. Um, and some more brush strokes over that sort of blue teal color. Um, I like it a little better because it warms the cow up. The cows are an almost white and beige cow. Here, I've probably showed you plenty of times, but Oh, here we want a little smaller. I've got it zoomed in. So, I like that. And I've got this ear done and this horn done. And I was wondering if you can tell the difference between the two horns. There's one right here. Well, yeah, you can't, this one's even hard to see because it's about the same value as parts of the ear. And then having another layer, <coughs> excuse me, or two on the ear just gives it some depth and then I can come in with some br confident brush strokes to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I've refined the nose a little bit, not a lot. I added a highlight. There's some orange glaze over here, a little straight up magenta glaze. And then I took a brown and glaze and made that a little darker because we want this side to be lighter. And then I've started adding some whites here and there. There's some white there, a little bit of white there. As it dries, it's not like white, white. It might take a couple more coats. Um, I think next I'm going to add whites here, but basically the cow is pretty close to done. From here, oh, the nose to the left. This, this area needs more work. I was just hoping you could see that on video. What um, I've seen some comments where they don't get this layer thing. Well, you know, this is just a little rougher and less refined. You could call it done. But like I've worked more on the eye and the ear and the horn and played with the values and the colors in the body. And it just gives it, I think, a richer look. I think I said that already. So let's just take a little tour. Let's see if I can get this straight. Oh, I love my son's coming from that direction. <laughs> Emily made that for me. Emily helps me with the live. If you don't know who she is, she's, she's my daughter. Okay, so let's get a little closer. There you can see the ears pretty well. Now this ear is pretty much in shadow, but you can still add the same kind of details, just come up a little bit in value. And same with the horn. This horn needs highlights up here and things like that. Here, maybe you wanna see the eyes. So this eye is probably done or it's pretty close. Get a little closer so you can all focus. This eye definitely needs more work. And the little bits of white help pull it up. Oh, here you probably want to see the nose. 
I've already added, I've added a few uh, whiskers. I don't know if that's what you call it on a cow. There's a few more. I need to add one. It goes like a couple that go up this way, not very, very long. I wasn't totally sure if I was done with this yet. And then I've been working on here. You can kind of see the layers. I get some interesting texture because it's the wood grain or the, I sanded this, but I didn't like sand it ultra smooth because I like the interesting textures I get. Sometimes it helps. And then like, I don't show every hair. I just kind of have some areas where I show hair. Just use the brush stroke direction to help. I've worked on this a little more. That's not white, that's actually unbleached titanium. Okay, so I hope those comments help a bit. I'll be back after a while. Hey guys, I'm done. So I um, I had finished it, I photographed it outside, ate dinner and I showed a photo to my son and he was, I was like the flowers weren't quite right. I had them pinker. So I added a little bit of yellow to him. And I think because I've got a lot of yellow, I've been doing sort of the dramatic sunlight coming from the side 
well, actually it's kind of coming from the top. Um, and I've got a, a nice warm glow here. I think this is better. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. Um, what else? Got little hints of flowers off in the distance because we're looking at a different angle than some of the previous uh, cow, or cow paintings I've done. And this is part of the Trouble series. This is Trouble 5.0. So they're really, they're, there aren't any up close. What else do I want to say? You probably want to see the eyes and stuff up close. We'll take a little tour. Oh, I really liked that I, even though this isn't as blue as it was, now it has some pinks and stuff in it. I really like the color in there. I think that's neat. Oh, I could maybe, you know what? It, the eye kind of sticks out. I wonder if I want a little white. <laughs> so what I usually do, even though I call it done, is I might add a touch here and there tomorrow when I see things. But I think I see something right now. So let's fix it so I don't forget. This is like a half inch filbert that I've been using. So it does have, the cow photo does have a, um, like a dark streak, but sometimes those streaks, like a dark, dirty area under the eye, but sometimes that um, makes it sink in too. And I don't, the cheek really doesn't sink in right there or that area. I don't know if that made any difference. Oh yeah, I actually think it did. I'm looking at my phone. So I, yeah, I just kind of take a look at it when I'm not on top of it and been painting on, you know, painting it. Oh, my palette didn't add any colors. Same colors. Okay, let's take a little tour. Oh, I did, I thought of something else now. I did um, add some more white here. It, got, it dries darker. And then I had a dirty finger from smearing something, but that's okay because it warmed up kind of warmed up the clouds a little bit. Um, one trick is to use some of your color in the painting in the clouds or bring some of your ground color up into the sky, the clouds. You don't have to, but that can make it look a little more finished. Okay, so, oh yeah, that looks fun. So I, I just like the layers. So the first layer just helps me find things and sometimes I don't know if you'd call it second or even third layer. Like I think I think this one has three or four layers because I wasn't quite happy with the values or the the brush strokes for the hairs. And then you don't have to paint every hair. I mean that's a really fat brush stroke. And the hair is actually quite thin. And I put a little blue in that eye because there's blue in the shadow. And quite often I put blue in the eyes. Either in the eye or in like this little piece of skin underneath. Uh, the reference photo had orange, which I liked, so did that. And then I kept the white. I'm gonna back up pretty much up here. I did put some white in here, but when you just do one layer and not much, it it doesn't push back. Or here I've got sometimes just three or four layers of white. Oh, and then I glazed some orange and the nose and some straight up magenta, but when you glaze it, it has the colors below it showing through. I put more whiskers on it than the reference photo had, because I think that's just fun. <laughs> I just think that's fun. Here, did you want to see the other eye? It really only has two eyelashes, but that's all you need. And I think it's fun to have like a little dot for, that kind of entertains, you know, just some sort of little shapes and brush strokes are fun. I think the horns turned out really good. Isn't that funny? What else do you want to see here? Maybe the, yeah, I, I definitely don't have every hair. You could. Oh, and then I, I um, you know, had a, all those dark lines. I came over it with some dry brushing, some thin paint and softened that. I like that. Oh, here, maybe you want to see. See, there's like some hairs here, but I didn't do it like absolutely everywhere. Sorry, kind of crooked because I'm leaning off to my right. This was a fun area. Oh, here, you probably see the little flowers. They're just blobs, flowers grow in clusters. 
I just put some black dots for the centers of just a few of them. A couple little hints of some vertical strokes. I don't know if you'd even see those off that far away. You would, I don't think you'd see them at all, but I put them in there anyway. Okay. Well, thanks for tagging along with me. That's so, this is so fun for me to share my art journey with you. It's so fun that I've sold several of these. They go outside in the entryway of the gallery. It's a, there's a garage door and then there's three walls and it's covered. And then you, there's a door to go actually into the gallery. So it's protected. Um, it doesn't get any sun or anything, but it is out, technically outside sometimes. Um, and it's really fun that a bunch of artists have their panels out there. If you've seen my gallery visit photos, you've seen what I'm talking about. Um, and it's just real fun to, I wonder how many of these I'm gonna paint. <laughs> this, as I said, this is Trouble 5.0. I really appreciate you taking along with me. I appreciate all you guys who comment and encourage me. And it's just so fun to hang out with you. And then if you happen to be in my Facebook group, it's really fun to see what you're working on. I love seeing what creative things you all are up to. Thanks so much. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.